Good morning, everybody. This is Leo Vallant, your YouTube Messiah. Here, it's... There's a story about Bernie Sanders. I call this rant, Bernie Sanders' genocide against billionaires. Yeah, I just read the news that Bernie Sanders, the old union hack progress progressive national socialist who wishes he could be a populist, well, he drops further down in the American polls each time we hear from him. This time, he's insisting on a plan for confiscating the wealth of, of all billionaires, leaving them with only their first billion, effectively destroying their credit lines with the banking system, or really, indeed, they're effectively nationalizing the banks, which would otherwise have control of all those billions of dollars. Then, well, everybody in the international community, listen to me, it, it, it's, you can never be too alarmed in regard to the schemes and plots that America harbors against the rest of the world. And remember, that what Americans see as evil at home, they come to see as evil abroad. And if Bernie Sanders can confiscate U.S. dollars at home, then he could also order the same sanctions programs against international billionaires as now the USA orders against private individuals in Iran, China, North Korea, Russia, Iraq, Lebanon, Libya, Remember that when France objected to the USA unilaterally declaring an unprovoked war against Iraq, the USA nearly sanctioned them, a Western European ally. <gasps> Can anyone trust America anymore? Yes. The USA speaks of freedom of navigation on the high seas, but the international banking lines and credits are full of shoals and reefs, mined harbors and torpedoes, all from the USA attaching more and more strings onto the US dollar. Can anyone be confident in their wealth any longer if it is held in US dollar denominations? Look at the price of gold today. It's the barometer in mistrust in America. Can the world still consider America the champion for freedom once it seems that the worst oppressions and exactions are coming from these former protectors? Yes, politics is politics, and the USA isn't the same USA your fathers had known. But there is still the matter of what's to be done to neutralize this extreme danger to international finance and commerce that Bernie Sanders represents. Perhaps the international banks can sanction any bank that extends to Bernie Sanders any credit. Wait, but from what I hear of Bernie Sanders, that is an any as an enemy of capitalism, he's doing pretty well by the banks. Oh, I get it. Bernie Sanders is not real. He hasn't been real since he was an old union hack. It's he's sold out. He's only been pretending to be a crazed Trotskyite in order to discredit socialists progressivism. And we can see the obvious payoff. Doesn't Bernie Sanders have a home for every season of the year? And who gets a home except through a bank? Well, unless it's by cash. But yeah, why wouldn't they be giving Bernie Sanders big bag full of cash? It's, look what he's done. He's ran for Socialist president in 2016, and he got, he was just horrendous in the polls. He scared everybody. But then he runs again in 2020, and he does even worse in the polls. He must be doing it on purpose. Anybody else would listen to their political consultants, and this is certainly a losing strategy. Mr. Sanders, and they'd go, oh, I better not do that. He does it 
Eat my stick, Crooked. Oh, it makes us wonder about AOC, you know, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez for long. Is she in the same game? Is she getting paid off to discredit socialism and progressivism in America? It's... Is she must be? It's she's the rallying point for everybody who who hates progressivism. Uh, and she's even the role model for what's her name? It's um uh uh uh, uh Marguerite Marguerite Taylor Swift Green. Who's the crazy? Who's the crazy blonde bitch? Well, it's the AOC was her role model. Oh, it's what AOC does for the left. I can do for the right, and I can be even more crazy. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of a rant.